Hi, girls and boys. Today, we're going to read a book called Jaguars. This book was written by Quinn Arnold. He was the author. Did you notice that I didn't tell you who the illustrator was? Well, let's look carefully at the picture that we see on this title page. Does it look like an illustration that somebody drew? You're right, it doesn't. It looks like a photograph. Somebody took this with a camera. Hmm. Let's do a picture walk and look a little bit at this book because it's so different than some of the other books that we've read. The title of this book is Jaguars. Hmm. That's a different looking kind of page. It says table of contents on it. Oh, and it talks about little tiny topics and then there's page number and then another little tiny detail of a topic and another page number. Oh, there's another photograph. What kind of animal is that? It's a jaguar. So this picture looks like jaguar skin and fur. This photograph is of a jaguar. The photograph on the cover is a jaguar. And the title is Jaguars. What do you think the topic of this book is. Remember, a topic is what the book is all about. I think this book is going to be about jaguars. And I don't think this is a book with a story with characters and a beginning, a middle, and an end. I don't think there's going to be a problem or solution in this. There's not going to be a setting. This book is a teaching book. It will teach us something. It's going to help us learn about something. Huh. Well, I wonder what do we call this kind of book? It's a non-fiction book. Non-fiction books teach us about a topic. And the topic it's going to teach us about is going to be Jaguars. Some of the features that we'll see in a nonfiction book are a table of contents. We'll see photographs instead of illustrations. And it'll give us facts. Sometimes we'll see something different about the text. Do you see how this one is a different color? All the other words on this page are white, but this word is yellow. Full of photographs, not illustrations. That's a big clue. Hmm. And the photographs usually show us what the text is talking about. Oh, here's one of my favorite features in a nonfiction book. Do you know what this is called? It's a diagram. A diagram labels all the parts of something. This diagram labels all the parts of a jaguar because our topic is jaguar. It's what we're learning about. So it gives us all of the labels that we would need. And on the smaller parts of his body, it gives us a bigger picture so that we can look very carefully. You know, it's hard to see his claws on this paw. So they took a picture, a photograph of his paw and they made it look bigger. They zoomed in so that we could see the small details they wanted us to know. In the back of a nonfiction book, we often have other text features. This section says words to know. 
It tells us about the fur and gives us a definition. It tells us the word prey and gives us a definition. And it tells us about rainforests and gives us the definition. It tells us where we can get more information through books and where we can get more information through websites. And it would be more information about the topic. What was the topic of this book again? Jaguars. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's an index. An index tells us the special words. Remember how I pointed to that one word and I said, oh, the other words are white and this word is yellow? Well, that word was fur. And I can see that word right here. And it tells me the pages I would find the word fur on. What page would I find the word fur on? I'd find it on page eight and on page nine. Let's look at page eight and nine. See, there's page eight and nine. And sure enough, there it is. That's the word fur. So this index would be found in the back of a nonfiction book. And it tells us these special words that are special about jaguars. It tells us what page we would find that word on. That's called an index. That's a nice nonfiction text feature. And the words to know section, that's a glossary. It's like a special dictionary just for the special words in this book. Sometimes a nonfiction book will give us a picture glossary and it'll give us a little definition of all the special words. And sometimes it'll just have the words there, but look, it's in the same color that we saw it on that one page. It was yellow on page eight and nine. And here it is, it's still yellow. That was nice of them to do. Let's read this nonfiction book about jaguars and see what we can learn. The topic is jaguars. The key details are going to be the pieces of information that we learn about jaguars. Let's see how many key details we can learn. Jaguars. If I wanted to read Hello Jaguars, I'd look on page four. American Cats, I'd read page six. If I wanted to read about spotted fur, I would read page eight. These are some of the key details that I'll be reading about. Leaping Legs is on page 10. So the table of contents is a good place to look in order to find out some of the key details that you can learn about in your nonfiction book. Hello, Jaguars. Jaguars are big cats. They are the biggest cats in the Americas. So in North America, Central America, and South America, the largest cats are jaguars. Most jaguars live in rainforests. That word is in a different color. It's one of our special words. If we wanted to know about what rainforest meant, if we didn't know what a rainforest was, we could look in the glossary and it would tell us what this word means. But I can also try and figure out what it means from looking at the word rain forest. Well, I know about a forest. It's a place with a lot of trees. And I know what rain is. Maybe a rainforest is a place with a lot of trees where it rains a lot. Jaguars have spotted fur. It is orange brown with black spots. The spots are called rosettes. Oh look, the photographer, the person that took the picture, was very good to us on this page. I can see the orange brown fur and we're real close. So I can see the black spots. And then they wanted to make sure that I saw them really well. They told me they're called rosettes and they took a close up photograph so I could really see it. The jaguar's tail is long. Jaguar legs are short but strong. They can leap far. I wonder why they can leap far. It probably has something to do with their strong legs or maybe his long tail. Those are some key details I learned about how they leap. A jaguar eats meat. It waits for prey, then it jumps. Prey, that word 
is a different color than the other ones. It looks just a little bit different. I bet it's in the glossary and it would tell me the definition, what it means. I'm going to try and figure out what it means from the details on our page though. Is that a jaguar? No. Hmm. And the key detail on this page, the little tiny topic about jaguars is that they eat meat. Prey must be some sort of meat. It waits for prey and then it jumps. Prey are the animals that it hunts for. So he waits in the shadows quietly and then he jumps out to eat his prey. That's where he gets his meat. He can't go to Publix. Baby jaguars are called cubs. Cubs live with their mother. They play and learn to hunt. Aw, what cute little baby jaguars. What are they called again? Cubs. Mm -hmm. There's the mommy jaguar and there's her babies. They play and they learn to hunt. I wonder who they learn that from. Who teaches them? They watch their mother, yes. Jaguars sleep for most of the day. They go swimming. They look for food at night. So do jaguars like water? Yes, they do. They go swimming. It tells us that they go swimming. So we know they must like water. When do they eat? Do they eat during the day or do they eat at night? You're right, at night. It tells us they look for food at night. And it also tells us they sleep for most of the day. Goodbye, jaguars. Oh, here's our diagram. Remember, a diagram is a page that shows us all the parts of something. It tells us tail, there's the word for tail, fur, rosettes, leg, ears, eyes, nose, teeth, claw, and paw. Those are the parts of a jaguar. Oh, here's the glossary or the words to know section. Remember how I said it had a special dictionary for the special words? Fur the short hairy coat of an animal. Prey, animals that are eaten by other animals. Rainforests, forests that get a lot of rain. And then the back of the book has an index in it. Remember, the index tells us what pages those special words are found on. So what kind of book did I say this was? Fiction or nonfiction? Nonfiction. A nonfiction book teaches us all about a topic. The topic of this book was jaguars. Thank you for reading this nonfiction book today with me.